Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how to create a blog using WordPress in about five minutes. One of the first things that we're going to need is a host to host our website or our blog. Now I have a very special deal with Bluehost going on where it's $3.95 a month instead of $5.99 a month. And that link to Bluehost will be in the description below. What you're going to do is you're going to want to click on that link. If you would like to use Bluehost, you can use any other type of host that you would like, but I'm showing you how to do it on Bluehost right now. Once you click on that link, it'll bring you to this page, and you click on Get Started Now. Once you click on Get Started Now, it'll bring up a pricing table where you can select your plan. We're going to be doing the starter package because it's $3.95. And it'll suit our needs perfectly because all we're doing is a blog. We're not making a very uh, large website here. Go on ahead and select that plan, and if you would like to register a new domain, you can go on ahead and do that on the left side. And if you already have a domain registered, you can go on ahead and use it for this blog on the right side. Now, a lot of bloggers like to use their names. They like to either use what they're blogging about, such as food. You can do whatever you want. The possibilities are up to you. Now, I've already done this, so I will not do this step. Once you go to the next page, it'll, it'll let you complete your account, fill out all your account information. And then it'll make you log in, such as this. So I'm going to go ahead and log in now. Alright, now that you've logged in, you're going to want to go to the hosting tab in your account. If you do not see this page, uh, go ahead and click on hosting up here, and then you should be in the C panel, or the control panel. Now, since we're using WordPress, we want to install a WordPress on our server. So it's simple and very easy to do. You click on Install WordPress. Once you click on Install WordPress, this page will come up. And of course, since we want to install WordPress, we're going to hit the Install button. Now this drop-down arrow will let you pick between www. and without it. Now I'm going to be doing one without it because I think it looks a lot sleeker, a lot nicer. We're going to hit Check Domain. All right, once you've checked your domain, these two option boxes will pop up. You're going to click check show advanced options. Now your admin username will probably be your email. I've already changed mine to Nick Sauls and you may want to change it to anything that you would like to use your username as. Now the admin password you can make that whatever you want. I'm just going to make it butter one question mark. and then you have read and agreed to the terms and conditions install now and you're going to obviously want to remember the admin username and the admin password now you can ignore all of this right here this is what you need to pay attention to this is where your wordpress installation is installing now that our install is complete click on view credentials and our site is live. So what we can now do is click on the URL right here and we go to our website. Click on the admin login and remember that username and that password that we made earlier this is where we're going to type it in. So N-I-C-S-A-L-Z and then B-U-T-T-E-R-1 question mark. Enter. Now, to set up our blog theme, we're going to want to go to Appearance, then Themes, and then you'll see this little message that says, your site is currently displaying a coming page soon. Once you're ready to launch your site, click here. We click there. Now our site is live, so we're going to click here to view it. And now this is what your blog looks like. Your blog is live, it is available for anyone to see. And it's simple to add a post. You just go to Post, All Post, and Add a New Post. And then you get to blogging. It's as simple as that. A WordPress blog in less than five minutes. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate a like and a subscribe. Other than that, have a great day.